So for today, we're going to be looking at seasonal challenges for week six. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what the challenges are for the week. And we also look at Eververse, what she's selling. And that's pretty much it. We also look at some other things, maybe. But usually, that's what we look at. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's get into it. So the first one's going to be Forceful Liberator. Defeat combatants in the Defiant Battlegrounds playlist using power weapons. Earn bonus progress if they also deal solar damage. So not hard at all. Just do battlegrounds it's not hard it's just like i just i kind of burn myself out which is why i'm just playing other things right now because um it'd be like that it really be like that i don't know how to tell what to tell you just i burn myself out uh next one is relentless liberator that's a lot of shit bro oh my god Gave bonus rewards using the defiant key at the end of defiant battlegrounds playlist activities on both normal and legend difficulties defiant keys can be earned by completing oh this just tells you how to complete yeah um rewards earned through the vestian ward upgrade at the war table will provide additional progress oh so yeah just do whatever this is telling you to what is it gain bonus progress for using so just bonus rewards or yeah so just use your defined keys i guess not hard <laughs> defined crucible ornament acquire the crucible ornament for eclectic the staff um not hard it's just you gotta play pvp and i know for some people it's that's gross i mean it's not hard it's just it's just crucible bro it's i promise you it's not hard defeat vex with seasonal weapons these are perpetualis prodigal return regnant caretaker rock and tour and royal executioner bonus progress awarded for vex defeated in seasonal activities not hard just use the seasonal activity stuff you can actually just use it with forceful liberator you can complete these two hell you can complete these three literally like in, in a few runs so not hard at all elegant weaponry Defeat combatants in Vanguard playlist or strikes while using a sword, bow, or glaive. This one's pretty cool because you can just equip all of these. Uh, you can equip a bow for the main, which is uh, the the, pr the primary slot. Oh my god, I almost forgot that. The primary slot, put a bow, a glaive on your secondary, and then for your heavy, just a sword. That's it. Not hard at all. You can actually complete this with all of these as well. Actually, mm, maybe. No. No, you can put a sword, but I you can you can put a sword and a bow, but not a uh, not a uh, a pointy stick. I forget what they're called. Uh, glaive, and then absolutely stunning stun champions fifty. Um, not hard. Uh, these five are literally from the challenge. Um, the challenge from the raid. This shit right here. I just we just did it on uh on master. Yeah, we just did the one on master for the challenge as you can see so that's where the five came from but literally you can go to like the uh lost sector that's this week which is uh the gilded pre precept i don't know which one this is um oh this is this is the one with the cabal in it oh that's gonna suck ass if you want an easier run just go to nightfall and hit legend which one is this one lake of shadows oh that one's ass too bro mm. uh that's fine just uh go to nightfall and then just do the hero that's what i would do depending where the champion is though you could probably have like the champion spot um spawn in a really good spot if, the, if if that's the case then just continually like uh stun him over and over because it is just stun champions it's not kill champions so that is a lot easier because you can just stun like an unstoppable forever until you complete this which is probably what i'll do when i get into completing some of these seasonal challenges uh for eververse i'm gonna be real with you guys not a lot of cool stuff uh polished sea stone which damn this looks cool too bad i'm never gonna wear this because i just don't like blue and green i think that's a weird I like uh too much uh buzz buzz light your star command type shit for me we have look laguna cruiser which is an okay shader actually not bad uh the off color is green though which is weird so just be aware of that we have catch flight entrance which i'm not gonna look at exotech shell which is a pretty cool shell dude actually uh not for a fucking tooth almost three thousand can't go on um i'm almost tempted to pick this up and then for the bottom stuff we have shiro's watch which is 
basically a sh like a shader change. At least to me, it just looks like a shader change. We have the Exohelion, which looks pretty cool. We have Blind Faith. This is a cool ornament and the best ornament for Trust because it changes all of the colors. Everything you see here, it changes all of it. So you don't have to worry about, oh, well, maybe this doesn't change color. Maybe this doesn't. It, all of it changes color, unlike the other ornament that it has. Kit Shell, which is straight up doo-doo butter. We have the boots for all of the classes. So if you guys are getting these seasonal ornaments for Eververse, then make sure you pick up the boots for everyone. Uh, I also have already reviewed the armor. If you guys haven't seen it, it's right here. We go over the armor. I'm currently working on the uh, casual armor sets, pieces, whatever, where I go through all of the armor pieces and make sets from the individual pieces. Uh, I'm working on that right now. Those should be up either this week or next week, probably beginning of next week to late this week, most likely. We'll see. Uh, arcade games. This is a pretty cool uh, emote but not for like 5,000 bright dust, bro. Wild. We have some more stuff that I don't care about. Reef Regalia, definitely a shader you should pick up. It's a really good shader, especially if you like the Awoken, because this is an Awoken shader. Uh, just be aware that the off colors are gonna be purple right here, and then the gold right here is the off color, which I have made, I think, actually, did I? Yeah, I think I posted that video where I used Reef Regalia, but instead of the main colors, I went with the off colors because I was using the helmet from the Assassin's Creed set. So I'll have that video up right now if you guys want to see uh, a different take on this shader. Because again, I use mostly the off colors to really make the set look different from how Reefer Galia usually looks. Uh, we have Rustberry. Now, this is funny because I think Rustberry is such a hidden gem shader. Most people won't like it because of the contrast of the white and then everything else is dark. I understand that. You have to understand that if you find an armor set that has no white in it, Rustberry is probably one of the dopest shaders you'll ever put on. Like legitimately, I'm not memeing right now. It's fucking dope. You should definitely try it out. Uh, Carbon Blood, a really good black and red shader. Uh, it does have white in there as well, but it's mainly usually just black and red. It's super dope. Love this shader. Like, as you guys can see, the off color is going to be white right here. And then for the belt as well. Other than that, everything is black and red. Definitely a really good black and red shader, especially since the red is like really like almost chrome red, which is super cool. So definitely a pickup for me as well. Or if I if I didn't have it. Polished Sea Stone. I didn't. Isn't she selling this one up? She is selling that one up. There. Okay, well, I'm not going to explain that shit again. She's selling it again for some reason. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think uh, about this week. Unfortunately, we are done with the seasonal story somehow. So um, no seasonal story uh, thing for this week. But you will have Ada's, uh, the Ada video. I am currently working on that video right now. I'll, I already recorded it. I, that's the first one I did, but um, this one's going to be the first video that I post because that's what I usually do. So Ada most likely will be coming out tomorrow, which definitely check that video out because Ada is selling some dope shaders, specifically one that I didn't even have because I joined the game uh, or I specifically joined PC late, I should say. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.